George came to the country, he loved to visit the Rankins' farm. And his favorite thing at the farm was Mr. Rankin's big red tractor. <laughs> Morning, George. Driving the tractor, eh? <laughs> well, why don't you come meet my new tractor? His name's Ulysses. <laughs> George, meet Ulysses. He's my brand new ox. Oh, he's friendly. I called him a tractor because he does what a tractor does. Plows my fields. He doesn't need gas, oil, or a mechanic. And just watch him plow. <laughs> Get up! Of course, he, uh, he can be sort of stubborn. <laughs> Here we go. Attaboy, Ulysses. <laughs> oh, Ulysses. Well, two more rows and this field's done. Oh, careful, George. That field's chock full of poison ivy. And that stuff will really make you itch. Uh -huh. See the leaves? That's how you can tell. There's an old saying. Leaves of three, let them be. Uh -huh. woo, woo, woo. Oh, I'd love to plant something there. The dirt is rich and sweet. But I'm way too allergic to poison ivy. Oh, hey, George, you want to meet our new kids? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> See? <laughs> These are our kids. Kid is what you call a baby goat. Oh. oh. Look at that. They chewed right through the latch. This one's Susie, and this is Sammy. Or, or maybe this is Susie. Uh, I get them mixed up. <laughs> Sammy got named before Allie found out they were both she-goats. Sammy is short for Samantha. Come on, George. They're really fun to cuddle with. <laughs> They're fun, all right. <laughs> but they will butt you if you don't look out, George. And they chew on everything. Yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> Thanks, George. They'll be good milk goats when they're grown. But I've got to plow that field now. With the latch chewed, who knows what kind of trouble they'll get into while Ulysses and I are working. George had a great idea. <laughs> yeah, Grandpa, we'll keep him out of trouble. <laughs> okay, if you think you can handle him, good luck. Thanks, Grandpa. <laughs> Susie, Sammy, no! <laughs> 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 George wasn't sure they could handle the goats after all. Get out of my flowers! We're coming, Grandma! Land sakes! Put down that begonia! <laughs> You're 
very cute. But I can't have you eating my flowers. The N Avenue Animal Shelter scavenger hunt is about to begin. Boys, I tell you, Team Piscetti is going to do very, very well today. Maybe we won't win, but we're going to raise a lot of money for a good cause. Who says we won't win? Ah. Well, we're pretty good, but we're never going to beat my cousin. You have a cousin, Chef Piscetti? Oh, that's right. Cousin Nilguini. He's the greatest, even when we were little. I thought I knew all about making the mud pies. Hey. Ah. Until I saw Cousin Nilguini's. I'll never be as clever as he is. <gasps> there he is! Come on, come, come! Oh. Hey, Cousin Paschetti, nice to see you. You look great. How you doing? Well, uh, good. But I'm afraid we're going to lose to you. Come on, where's your confidence? And with a team like this, how can you not win? <laughs> Scavengers, are you ready? Here we go. See you at the end of the race, winner. <sighs> You're each being handed the list of shapes. Some are easy, some are hard and worth more points. Ah. Whoever has the most points at the end wins the golden rectangle. You have one hour. Ready? On your mark. Get set. Hunt! Oh, I'm too nervous. You read. <gasps> one hundred diamonds. <sighs> Better stick to easy ones up here. They're more our speed, and, and we can get more done in the hour. Ah. <laughs> four white rectangles. It's worth four points, but you have to have all four. <laughs> well, you heard. Follow him. <laughs> Maybe I am clever. Well, hi, George. Ah. Oh, yeah. All right. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> okay, now three stars. Let's go. Circles. Five squares. So that's 16 points. 37 minutes left. What else, Marco? We can get eight points if we find a large octagon. Octagon, eh? Something with the eight sides. Hmm. <gasps> ah! Stop signs were octagons. What is that? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Octagon! Eight more points! Good work, Giorgio! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> What's left? Twelve egg-shaped things. Oh, my. Oh, what is shaped like an egg? <gasps> Biscotti nose! <laughs> Perfectly egg-shaped. <laughs> How is it going? 36 points. Now, Nettie, I don't want to jinx her, but I think maybe we're going to win this one. Then I'll cook your pizza so you can celebrate. 12 points for a blue ring. Let's go. <laughs> 
he was even more excited when that friend was one of his favorite people in the whole world. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, let me guess. Great Aunt Sylvia's here? <laughs> oh, my favorite nephews! Oh. <laughs> so, uh, how have you been, Aunt Sylvia? Oh, fine. I just got back from the Galapagos Islands. Now, you know how those dolphins love to race. Ooh. Was it fun? <laughs> you bet. I won. Oh, and I have presents for both of you. <laughs> now, I know how you love your mystery novels. Oh, thanks. And for George. <sighs> well, now go ahead and open it. <laughs> it's a front loader. I drove the real thing when I worked in construction. And this one's the perfect size for a monkey. Well, what do you say, George? George could just imagine all the things he could do with his new front loader. It would be great for making mud pies. He could use it in winter and summer. This was one of the best toys George had ever seen. <laughs> now he just needed something to pick up. George's new front loader wasn't doing a very good job of front loading. Well, it's not you, George. It's the toy. Something's wrong with it. Well, it's just one problem that's easy to solve. We'll just trade it in for another one. Excuse me? There seems to be a problem with this toy, and we'd like to exchange it for a new one. <laughs> oh, I am so sorry, folks, but everybody's bringing this one back. It looks like this toy is just defective. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Looks like we'll just have to go to the source of the problem. Hmm, let's see here. Made by Dinwoody Delights? Oh, that's just across the city. Well, then let's just pay them a visit. Maybe they can fix the problem. Uh, I uh, have some fossils to sort. Think you two can handle it? Of course, you run along, George, and I will take care of this. Right, George? <laughs> Douglas Dinwoody, welcome to my factory. We've never had a monkey visit us before. <laughs> now, what can I do for you? Well, you see, we have a problem with one of your toys. Uh-huh. Problem? What do you mean? It's, it's not the bubble blower that blows backward bubbles, is it? <laughs> or the remote control car that only goes in a circle? <laughs> ooh, 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 dizzy. <laughs> because those were supposed to be taken off the shelves months ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I bought this for George, but it, it won't pick anything up. Hmm, <laughs> I see. Well, if it's a defective toy, we'll have to issue a recall. Come with me. For George, it was the perfect kind of day to go to a fair. George, okay, you've got your sunglasses, your water bottle. Uh -huh. I can't think of anything else we need. It's fair time! Allie, what's with all the stuff? It's my school fair survival kit. I got everything I need to have the best fair day ever. Wow! I got water, 
suntan lotion, mustard, ketchup, chair, tissues. This is to hold my lemonade. And what's in the backpack? Nothing. It's empty. Why are you bringing an empty backpack? Well, you never know what'll happen at a fair. One day I brought home a pet pig. What should we do first? Mm, let's see. Uh, there's a craft table over there. I see face painting. <gasps> wow, look at that bear. We'll be here all weekend. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Botham. I named him on the walkover. Step right up to Mr. Quint's Duck Game. Wow. Well, hello there. Ah. Hi, Mr. Quint. Wow. How do we play it? Well, you knock down all seven ducks, and the bear is yours. Well, what are we waiting for? Ah. Have fun. George, get ready to count. <laughs> Counting the successful tosses was easy for George because Allie didn't have any. I'm just getting warmed up. Let me try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Give someone else a chance. Now you can come back later, you know. We'll be here all weekend. How could something that looks so easy be so hard? George knew why Allie didn't knock down the ducks. She needed practice. First, George would build a practice game for Allie. He just needed some ducks, but he only had one rubber duck. Where could he get seven ducks that looked alike? There must be something he could use to make some ducks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven ducks. And then, George filled some bags with rice for Allie to throw. George knew that anyone could get better with practice. <laughs> All right, but I'm telling you, if I throw this, there's no way I'm going to knock down a cardboard. <gasps> Duck! Ah! Hey! <laughs> Did I do that? <laughs> Maybe I should quit while I'm ahead. Okay. <laughs> oh, missed again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, I think I got the hang of it. <laughs> it was a special day in the country. Because tonight, Everyone was coming to the Rankin's barn for a hoedown. Hey, George! <laughs> George wasn't sure what a hoedown was, but getting ready for one sure was fun. <laughs> there we go. I tell you what, you kids don't know what you're in for. They'll be he rides and square dancing. Oh, and best of all, there'll be real live bluegrass music. What's bluegrass? Oh, lightning fast, foot stomping music that'll make you want to jig. Oh, it's a hoot. Ooh. Huh? <gasps> George, do you hear that? Huh? 
<gasps> Say hello to the Uptown Bluegrass Band. Everyone, this is George and Allie. Well, Howdy. Hello. Hi there, kids. Hello. Howdy. Look at all those fun bluegrass instruments, George. Like the banjo. Ah. The fiddle. <laughs> the stand-up bass. Ah. And the mandolin. <laughs> and don't forget old Bo, best guitar in the world. Of all the instruments, the guitar was George's favorite. It looked like the most fun to play. Thank you enough for coming to play at our hoedown. <laughs> well, couldn't let my old friend down. Thanks. Ooh. You like old Bo? Uh -huh. You bet. Well, thanks. I made it myself. You really? Do? Uh, uh, that's a talent. It was easy. Huh? Anyone can make a guitar. All you need are the right parts. Ooh. Speaking of guitars, are you going to play with us tonight? Sure, I, I, I'd love to. What? Uh -uh. Well, didn't you know? Your friend plays a mean bluegrass guitar. Oh. Yep. Here, take a strum on old Bo. Oh, <laughs> old Bo? I, I can't. And, and besides, there's still so much to be done, and you know, my guitar's back home, and... Hey. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll get your guitar. Great. Hoedown's at five o'clock sharp. Oh, two hours from now. Okay. Say, maybe you can help me think up lyrics for that song we were just playing. Oh, okay. Ah! <gasps> you got it. Oh, Mr. Yellow Pants' guitar isn't all shiny like the pretty bluegrass one. Oh, oh yeah. Allie was right. The guitar didn't glimmer or shine. In fact, it was dusty. <coughs> oh, I know. Let's give it a bath. Grandma says there's nothing like a bath to make you bright and shiny. Yeah! George couldn't wait to see the man's guitar all bright and shiny. Ooh, uh oh. But instead, the bath made it lumpy and peely. George needed another guitar for the man to play at the hoedown and fast. <gasps> and then he remembered. Anyone can make a guitar. You just need the right parts. George would make a new one. <laughs> Great idea, George. We'll make a new and improved guitar. <laughs> First, they needed some kind of box with a hole in it. They found lots of boxes. But some of them were flimsy. And none of them had holes. 